few of you asked this question recently which is how do I do a solid white base um, some of you have been um, having problems with uh, alignment of the second quote or the ink not coming out evenly or, or uh, not going through the mesh and I'm going to show you guys how I do it so check it out okay so first you know we of course we need a platen and we need a clamp that goes down right but the in, in, one of the important parts that I, I showed up somebody um, that hit me up on Instagram recently was um, they, they didn't get their um, their designs when, whenever they did the second quote it wouldn't align so 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 basically if it doesn't align that that just means that um, something's not um, something right here it, it's not it's not holding it down in the same position so therefore this this right here will probably move back and forth or sideways so so that that was his his thing uh, the, the the drop down that he had which is that it, it didn't it didn't uh, land in between this so so I just told him to flip his machine everybody's machine is differently but I told him to flip it around so it'll be able to clamp down or actually he backed it up more and it ended up um not moving as much so so what I told him was to put tape around uh, this little uh, thing right here which his was just a little strip going down and he put tape around it and then um, it, it went down and then it, it, it was stuck so you need your machine it has to have tight uh, a clamp down re registration where it, do it doesn't like wobble left to right and then uh, another um, important thing to get a uh, real good basis or even printing in general you need to have a, a, a sturdy board one that doesn't shake or wobble and it's completely flat you need a flat surface so 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 I'm gonna show you guys some how I do it here so I already uh, have this this board here I'm gonna be printing this OU and of course you know we always align it to the middle and then when we have that we clamp it down all right all right so once we have it clamped down Another thing I check is um, how, how if if it has like a little pop, like your board or, or your your screen, your screen you don't want it like completely touching the board, cause cause then if the, if that happens then you you gotta um you gotta raise it up. So my my machine you use this to raise it up, so I could raise it up a little bit get a little bit more off contact so so because a lot of times when, when it's completely flat when you lift it up it, it's gonna uh, like it, it's still gonna be holding out to the shirt it, it's weird I can't really explain it but um, you need a little bit of off contact at least you know not not too much because when, when you swipe the ink the ink can probably go under and you, and you don't want you don't want it to be you don't want your paint to be bleeding you want them like real real, real crisp so right here this has a little tiny off contact and and then what you also check so sometimes when, when uh when you check is also uh, that um that your off contact here you see that that it's um as even as you can 
you know, as evenly. Right here, I have it like maybe like, I guess like one, no more than two centimeters. Maybe one, uh, I'm not really good with measurements, but it's not that much. And it's, um, it's flat. But the, the, the thing about it also, some people's machines, um, they can't get a they can't get a, a flat surface because they're they're sometimes using um wooden screens and, and wooden screens they warp so so if if one thing is like down here it'll be popping up here and then sometimes it's like popping up here and down here so it'll be all wobbly so so therefore if, if you if you have a wobbly screen or, or something's not um flat you gotta you gotta go over here and, and where, where the um the, the, this thing it, it it's it's grabbed on um let me get on this angle this thing right here that grabs the um the screen it has in the back it has like these screws that um that lock it down this most um most of the time they have like um little grooves that go up and down so therefore you're you're able to move this up. So if you move this up by unloosening this, uh it, it, it will like um you'll be able to um uh, to manage the, the flatness of the um of the screen. So that's what we need. We need um tight registration on the on the clamp and, and the grab here. Where it doesn't, it doesn't wobble. It doesn't wobble left to right at all because it's being clamped down right there and it's holding it down. These things, um, these things are actually the things that that hold it, um, that hold it in right here, because it, it hits right here and right here, and it doesn't shake because I have a, I have a thick, thick one hits the sides right here so it doesn't shake left to right we need a a flat of course board that doesn't wobble up and down or left to right and when we drop the screen we got to make sure it's it has a little bit of off contact and that it's flat and even and then that's gonna assure us to have a a nice print so so what we're, we're gonna do here is um let me just um, align this here all right so we have here is um the screen ready i'm gonna get the squeegee that you use in a shirt hold on ink here that I always use Th this ink um, this ink that I use is um from international coatings it's a it's a legacy it's good for uh, mo most um, t-shirts that are uh, they're 100% cotton or it does well on a few 100% um, cotton and it does good on all 50 50 and and it's not it's not really thick because it's like um it's not it's not low bleed but but it's basically um low bleed because it's not it's not that soft but it's it's a nice consistency this um one that i've been using a lot lately which international coatings has real good um inks especially uh yeah uh, all the inks i've used from them are real nice so we got some um, ink on there ready in order for us to get a nice solid white, we need a squeegee that, that covers the image from left to right. And we're just gonna swipe in one direction, you know? Always one direction. You don't wanna be switching it around sideways, up and down, and then up, down and up. Because uh, when you do that, it, it uh, so sometimes the mesh is not really as tight as can be. And, and, and if you switch directions, it, it might um, it'll, it'll show like like minor bleed, like because when we when we when we swipe, we're actually pulling the mesh a little bit, 
in the same direction so if we change the direction it, it, it's gonna um, it's gonna show some kind of bleed or, or it's not gonna look right so always print in the same direction especially on the second coat which right here uh, a lot of the times I, I, what I do is I use two 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 whites to make it pop or a white highlight you know so the white could be really white so that's the, that and the base also sometimes you just need one white you know but but still like um, I know it's a habit that you guys have um, always pick whatever you how you guys pray you know just do the, like I show you guys how I do it but don't try to always like do it exact as I do you know because I, I, I print upwards towards me and there's people that print away from them so I'm not if you print away from yourself um, you know I'm not here to try to change your style just you know whatever you're comfortable with there's nothing wrong with that alright so so I'm going I'm to do a solid base on here and then what we do is we get a, a t-shirt to practice on or a sheet and always make sure that um we shake up the adhesive real good because even though we've used it before um, it, it, if you let it settle down uh, it, it'll, it'll start spraying droplets again which we don't we want to miss the as much as possible so since this is the first one I put a nice like a little adhesive on there touch it a little make sure it's sticky where we need it and it's good and make sure you don't put too much because it'll get inside the shirt so, so now that we have adhesive, also adhesive is real important to get a nice solid base because if it's a base, we're most likely going to add more colors and we want the colors to basically align again, right? So here we go, put the shirt on there and then we just swipe it. You could either like flood it first and then swipe it or swipe it twice. But right here I flooded it. So let's go ahead and swipe it. And I just like let it go and you see how it popped up? It's not stuck onto the shirt because it has a little bit of um, height away from it. So, 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 so right here, um, it was just one swipe. But, but but if you guys look real closely, let me show you guys. If you look real closely, you can see some kind of grains on there. On the mesh, because um, some of the ink got stuck on there. So if we were to like lift it up, the uh, we, we don't want it to look like this. Because then there's not, it's not really a base. It's more like half base. It's like not not even, you know. So 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 what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it down again and make sure that all the ink went right through the mesh. We want it right through the mesh. So a lot of times I don't really even swipe it once. I swipe it um, a couple times. And the thing about it is that um we have we have to um. We have to have it actually, we have to put like a, a good little pressure on it, you know, it's like, that's why sometimes it's easy to easier to use softer inks. And also make sure that we're using a, a nice uh, squeegee, because sometimes after a while they get old and they start getting too soft and, and then you won't be able to, uh, to get the ink through. This mesh that I'm using, it, it, it's a... A 160 so so I do suggest if, if you're a beginner uh, and you don't really have the strength to put this the, the ink through that much um, do it with 110 you can never really go wrong with 110 mesh um, for bases and I also uh, for bases I use 160 a lot especially because I do like um, like gradients gradients for gradients uh, the best meshes to use for me is 160 and 200 so let's go ahead and swipe this through. 
and then let it pop up and let's check it out looks good let me show you closer so right here you, as you can see th there's less of the shirt showing so that that right there is a nice white base that's a nice white base so what we do is we flash it we flash it right so now that we flashed it we're gonna go ahead and um we're gonna go ahead and drop the screen down and then since uh, since a lot of you are are, are um, beginner screen printers I, I i noticed that you guys ask me questions um i know a lot of people teach that every, every time you swipe you must um you must flood but it, it, with these white base especially plastisol is not that important when, when i was a beginner screen printer what i always do was um i had a real wobbly machine and it was important for me not to flood because when I dropped down the screen again, I, ha I had to make sure, I, I had to make sure that, uh, that my, 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 uh, my screen was aligning. So a lot of times I would drop it and it would look like this where you see, uh, you see like a little line here. I would have to move the screen a little bit to the right. So and and, that, and then when 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 that would that uh I'll fix it I'll move it a little bit to the right th then I would print it so so if you're a beginning screen printing and you're doing one colors I suggest that uh, you do not flood after you print the first one because when you drop the second the second layer we want to make sure that uh, that we're in the same position so therefore when we got that we'll just do one good nice tight thorough swipe and, and it should be good because because um because i don't see no ink in right here in the mesh that means it, it, it pu i pushed it all the way through and, and then an another important thing this is like more like swiping technique um when you print you, you won't you, Sometimes um, some people use like al aluminum he heavy um, uh, squeegee, so that helps out with the pressure. So if you're not that strong, you want a, a heavier, um, a heavier one of these, like the metal ones that are heavy that that give you a nice, um, a stronger hand. So so and what you also want to do is um, you want like like even pressure, kind of like uh, what I would do is I would get like I would uh get my fingers like this and I would put pressure evenly like evenly like like in there you know like I don't know if you guys can see but um but yeah put even pressure use your fingers you know to put that to put that up uh, that pressure evenly you know some people grab it from the sides here and that doesn't give you that much uh, pressure in the middle so what I do is I grab it on top and I use my fingers to to evenly put pressure through. It makes it more more uh, nice. So if you if you look at uh, this print here, it's a nice nice solid print. And especially if you have some nice ink, that's not gonna bleed. It's gonna look real good, and it's gonna cure real nice once you have it in the right temperature. So that's a nice solid white hit or base. It's just a nice solid white popping on a black shirt. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know, give it a thumb, share it to your screen printing friends, and. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright? Let me know if you have any questions. You know, so support our online store. Uh, I appreciate you guys, um, you know, 
any of you have that have bought anything from watching these videos because I don't have a I don't put my PayPal link or a Patreon but um, I just do it because I want to help you guys out and you know show some love.